As product designers, as UX designers, as experienced designers, what I want to share with you is the ways that we can look at the underlying narrative to what we're creating, what we're selling, and what we're sharing. Now, telling this story, the story of bringing forward a new product, bringing forward a new innovation, is a tough journey. Getting people to see what you see. Because people actually don't really care about the backstory until you establish relevance, until you get them to feel something. And many people, when it comes to storytelling, think, all right, let's learn how to tell better anecdotes. And certainly, a good anecdote has its place. What I want to share with you is my work on narrative, how you can think as a narrative strategist to advance your work as product designers and as innovators. One of the great venture capitalists, Ben Horowitz, says, a company without a story is usually a company without a strategy. Okay. That's narrative. Right? What's the big story of what you do in a way that people get it immediately? And the obstacle that all of us come up against is disbelief. You see, in classical performance storytelling, you've got an audience, and there's an implied contract with your audience. If you're watching theater, if you're watching television, you're reading a book, as an audience, you've agreed to suspend your disbelief in exchange for going on a journey and being entertained. In business, you don't have that same implied contract. Instead, we're usually in situations where we're facing skepticism, we're facing cynicism. We're often sitting across the conference table with arms crossed. So what are you selling me today? What's your motivations? Okay. So disbelief is what we're all up against, which is why when we work with storytelling in the context of innovation, we have to approach it from some fresh perspectives. Now, a lot of us think, well, let's just present the facts, right? If we've got the facts, we have the evidence, of course people will believe us. Well, how are we doing with climate change? It's amazing how we have the ability to rationalize whatever we want to rationalize through our own filters, isn't it? What I've been fascinated with for the last 15 years are some of these questions. The questions of how do you take something that is new and different, something that's breakthrough, disruptive, maybe even world-changing, and how do you translate that into cultural acceptance? Sometimes it might be a little easier if we were selling cookies, right? selling cupcakes, but no, instead, what are you selling? You're selling something that's pretty complicated. Right? How do you tell that story? We often forget ideas don't sell themselves. So a lot of us as product designers, as UX designers, we're amazing at the research and the insights and how we use data and ethnography to really crack the code on understanding our customers. But now, how do you communicate the value of that? How do you articulate that vision to your boss, to your internal stakeholders? How do you drive a business transformation that's asking people to think differently, which means they need to act differently? So the vast majority of our work is supporting the acceleration of innovation inside both big enterprises as well as high-growth startups. Because what are the times we're in? We're inventing the future, right? We're disrupting industries. We are rethinking new possibilities on how to improve the human experience. How many of you are working on something that falls in one of those territories? 
How do you tell that story? 